ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Opel and Vauxhall CEO, Florian Hüttel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for joining us here today in Istanbul or digitally from around the world. Opel is a brand that brings German engineering and quality to a wide range of customers. Every day, we are shaping the mobility solutions of tomorrow. And we are doing this with the same pioneering spirit that has been an integral part of Opel's automotive DNA since we made the very first Opel in 1899. For 125 years, we have been serving our customers at the forefront of the ever-changing demands on mobility. And this is precisely what makes us strong as a brand. Our heritage is the foundation for our clear approach to sustainable and affordable individual mobility. In a nutshell, forever forward since 1899. It is exactly this approach that has driven our clear, focused and successful strategy in recent years. And all this while the automotive industry is undergoing the most profound transformation in history. We at Opel see this as an opportunity. We are actively shaping the transformation and the path to electrified mobility with know-how, creativity and, of course, pioneering spirit. And our most recent annual results show that we are on the right path. In 2023, we increased our global sales to 670,000 vehicles. This is a plus of 15% compared to the previous year. Now, what are the drivers of this success? First of all, our battery electric vehicle sales were extremely successful. We saw a significant increase of 22% compared to the previous year. This demonstrates the success of our electrification strategy. Further, our light commercial vehicle sales were also up by 26% compared to 2022. And we already hold a leading position in battery electric vans. Also, we continue to grow in the highly competitive C segment. The Astra was able to double its sales in 2023. And in addition, we are very happy about our significant growth outside of Opel's traditional European markets. We increased our sales by 62%. Ladies and gentlemen, these numbers are very encouraging. We are on track and we will continue down this path. And 2024, will be another exciting year with more highlights. We are adding two all-new models to our portfolio, fully in line with our strategy of providing tailored, sustainable mobility solutions for our customers. Just three weeks ago, we presented the new Grandland at our German plant in Eisenach. And in a few minutes, we will unveil our all-new Opel Frontera here in Istanbul. And our latest newcomer is extremely important for our brand for three main reasons. First, with the new Frontera, every Opel is now also available as a battery electric vehicle. Now, this shows our firm commitment to reducing consumption and CO2 emissions. Second, the new Frontera is fun, spacious and versatile. And with it, we're also taking the next step to making electromobility available to a wider audience. Customers can look forward to a family-friendly SUV at a highly competitive price. Third, with our newcomer, we are also extending the appeal of the Opel brand. As it is our tradition, we bring German engineering and quality to a broad audience. We want to win over customers from all markets, including Germany, the home of the Opel brand, the UK, the home of the Vauxhall brand, and of course, Turkey, which we consider as our third home market. Earlier, I already gave some details on our global progress, and Turkey is a great example of how our strategy is driving the business. We have seen significant growth in the last three years. In 2023, 
we even achieved a passenger car market share of 6.3%, our best result in more than a decade. This also means that we were number four among all car brands in Turkey. Now, this great result is down to hard work and an excellent performance from the team and from our Turkish dealer partners. Obviously, we want to go even further. We want to be even more exciting and desirable. And with the new Frontera, we have exactly the right model. Not only does the nameplate have a strong heritage, the newcomer is also perfectly tailored to the requirements and needs of customers in Turkey and around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, in summary, Opel is in a very good position. We have a clear path and we will continue to follow it with exciting new models like the Opel Frontera. Let's now have a closer look at the compelling design of our newcomer and who could present this better than our vice president design. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Adams. Thank you, Florian. Hey, Mark. Hello. Thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing your insights into the design of our newcomer. Yeah, thanks, Florian. And of course, we're very proud of what we created because it shows a more rugged interpretation of our bold and pure design philosophy. Yes, and at the same time, the Frontera has its very own character. Yeah, absolutely. It's fun-loving and at the same time functional, spacious and versatile. No matter whether you have an active lifestyle or looking for a car for the whole family, the Frontera ticks all the right boxes. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, here it is, our new Frontera. the new Frontera. Um, and this vehicle, as you can see, we're very proud, as I said earlier, it's the first production model to feature our new Opel Blitz. In fact, this is the car that we really appreciate, and I'm going to take you to the front of the car here now. So, the, the car itself has a really strong presence. It's got a very wide stance, and in fact, we've created this presence with this very vertical front end. The deep visor on this car gives it a feeling of substance and solidity. And of course, proudly presented at the center, our Opal Blitz. In the lower bumper areas there, you can see we've got this very strong planted stance. Again, everything is about creating this feeling of solidity and, and, and strength in the character. As we move around to the side of the car, you can see we have these really strong, typical opal blisters. And again, with the cladding of the car, giving the car this raised driving position. And that, of course, helps with customer visibility and overall package flexibility for everyday use. Now, when you move to the side of the vehicle, you can see it has a very boxy profile. But what we've done with the graphics of the car is try to disguise that boxy profile by making it look more compact. So here you can see this very strong dynamic C-pillar really pushes the cabin forward between the wheels. So again, it makes it feel tight and compact on the wheelbase. But we're also using this dark roof area to take visual mass out of the car. So yes, it's very spacious and functional, but at the same time, it looks light and agile on its feet. Now, at the rear of the car, again, we've got the same design cues consistently used, but in a fresh, modern way. So of course, you can see the wing signature lighting, which we've split with a body color element. 
really giving the car a unique personality. And of course, again, the new Blitz in its nice, clean area on the center of the car and the Frontera name proudly presented at the rear. So, as you can see, the, the Frontera exterior really gives this feeling of substance. But what about the interior? Let's talk a little bit about that. Now, the interior itself, we designed the interior with an architecture that emphasized the interior space. So, the instrument panel actually has this horizontal emphasis going door to door to really make it feel very open and spacious. And of course, we put into that the pure panel, which is two 10-inch screens connected together that really gives the customer a very simple and easy to use interface. Now, for those customers that actually don't want a large digital display, they can bring their own uh, digital information through their mobile device, and we actually offer an optional uh, element to really give them the ability to use that if they want to. So again, really giving the customer the flexibility to use his or her car in the way that they want to use it. Now, talking of that, of course, if this is for the whole family, then you want to have really good uh, storage solutions. So here, and I'll just focus on one particular element, is our console area at the front. You know, of course, it has typical areas for cup storage, but what we've done is a very clever and unique strap execution that runs around, and that gives flexible space, always retaining elements at the front of the console, whether it's different size cups or an iPad or a book or whatever it may be, to really give you that ability to have flexible storage. But one other feature that's very important is we are bringing for the first time what we call the IntelliSeat, and it's a very simple solution. In fact, it's a slot down the center of the cushion. Much like modern bikes, where you have almost independent suspension um, that really enables you to benefit on longer journeys, so you get out at the end of the journey as fresh as when you got into the car at the beginning. But also, what would be more important if you've got a car for the family is to have a great second row. And as you can see, I'm very tall, but I can fit into the back of this car with lots of legroom in front of me and headroom. So it really shows that this interior package is really very, very efficient. So as you can see, the Frontera has a lot to offer. And now let me introduce you to someone who will give you that more information. Tobias Gubitz, our Senior Vice President of Product and Pricing. Tobias, over to you. Thank you, Mark. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, our newcomer is fun, spacious, and full of clever innovations. As a family-friendly SUV, the Frontera will appeal to a wide range of customers. One of its key strengths it's the loading capacity. So even in the regular configuration with the back seats in the regular position, you can get more than 450 liters of luggage space. When you fold the back seats down, you can get up to 1,600 liters of luggage space, which, by the way, is on par with the Astra Sports Tour, a station wagon. And all those customers who want to take even more luggage on their trips we offer functional roof rails as an option. You can load up to 240 kilos static roof load on this car. So the Frontera is a compelling package. And of course, it will be launched as a fully electric car. That means it offers a range of over 300 kilometers electric drive. That is right at the heart of what a lot of our target customers will need. In fact, it's more than most of us need for our daily commute or on longer weekend trips. And for those customers who really need a bit more range, we will be offering the Opel Frontera with 400 kilometer range in the near future. In addition, the Frontera is also available 
as a modern 48 volt hybrid. This makes the Opel Frontera the first Opel to launch in Europe with fully electrified powertrains. These are just a few examples of how we really think the Opel Frontera will seduce our customers. But how do you buy the Frontera? Well, we at Opel believe that shopping for an Opel should be easy and fun, just like the Frontera. So we're introducing a very simple product lineup. The Frontera will be available in just two trim levels, the Frontera and the Frontera GS. In the entry level, it comes with the smartphone station that Mark mentioned. It allows you to seamlessly integrate your smartphone into the systems of the car. On the GS version, you will get the 10-inch infotainment screen with the built-in navigation and the rear-view camera, so a very simple and easy way to navigate the lineup. In addition, customers can choose up to two option packs, for example, the roof rails, or for colder countries, heated steering wheel and heated seats, much appreciated north of the Alps. In order to make it even more fun to shop for the Frontera, we recreated our entire digital experience. So everything mobile first. Why? Because by now, 75% of our customers interact with us via their mobile phone. And we see it here in the audience. <laughs> so you'll be able to use your smartphone, your six-inch smartphone, to discover, research, and even purchase your Opel Frontera. And the digital experience seamlessly merges with our physical experience at the dealership. So you can go to one of our modern showrooms, talk with the salesperson, but you can still buy the car online or right there at the Opel dealership. I want to come back to something before I hand back over to Florian, because he mentioned that the car will be very competitively priced. Just how competitive? Well, you'd be pleased to know that the Opel Frontera will be introduced starting at around 24,000 euros for the hybrid version in Europe. Let's take Germany as an example. And better yet, the Opel Frontera Electric will be available for around 29,000 euros. That's right, 29,000 euros, which will make it the most affordable electric German SUV. And that's what we call family friendly. And speaking of family friendly, you'd be delighted to know that we will also offer a seven seater version of the Frontera in the near future. And this extra bit of flexibility and versatility will go over well with our customers and our families that we will um, see in the Frontera in the future. So with this great news, over to you, Florian. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Tobias. Thank you very much, Mark, for talking us through uh, the Frontera in detail. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have shown you why the new Opel Frontera is so important to us. It is the latest example of how we are successfully shaping the ongoing transformation in our industry a family-friendly German electric SUV for around 29,000 euros. This is the next step. And I'm sure it will make Opel even more desirable. We have rejuvenated our SUV lineup with the new Grandland and now the new Frontera. And now we have the youngest and most exciting SUVs in this highly important segment. This is Opel. This is a brand with a clear focus on providing and delivering future-proof mobility solutions to millions of customers, forever forward since 1899. Thank you.